Hey guys, it's me, Ginger Snap. Okay, so we've kind of had some ups and downs and turns arounds and doors closed, new doors open. I mean, it's the end of the year, a lot of crazy things are happening. Um, so the intercooler is in Casper. I used an Amazon set that was a 31 by 12 by three inch cord with three inch inlet and outlet on it. And the universal shiny, cheap, intercooler piping kit with cheap boots. Um, I had to buy two other 90 degree boots and two sets of clamps, three inch. Um, and I had to buy a, it was a combination boots, 90 degree and it's 2.25 inch that goes off the turbocharger out to the intercooler hot side pipe. So there were a couple things I had to do a little bit differently. Um, bought a few parts, spent a couple bucks. I think I've got like 300 bucks in one intercooler system, ish. So anyways, long and short, because I don't need my better half here to know how much I actually spent on this. But anyways, it was all on sales, she says. Um, we put it in, the truck does not have air conditioning anymore. I'm really sorry guys, I don't have an AC condenser. I haven't, when I bought the truck out of the junkyard, it had been hit in the front and the condenser was already crumpled. So I yanked it out, 86 it, gone, don't need that. Wait, don't need that, shoot, let's find some more horsepower. Chuck the compressor, chuck all the accumulator crap. Bye, 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 bye. Make all kinds of room for activities in the engine bay. It was great. But <laughs> we uh, we got it all put in, mocked up. I had to cut two holes in the core support that were about three and a half inches in diameter, put the 90 degree boots through, clamped to the intercooler. Uh, it took me, I don't know, better part of three days, roughly, if I could have worked on it consecutively, get it all done. So I was going to build these like extravagant mounting brackets and bolt it from the top from the bottom and do all that stuff no i didn't do that um fun fact the intercooler from amazon is just the right size if you set it on rubber pucks in the core support from the ac condenser and splay them open a little bit and then you put the top one on the top bar for the hood latch and everything uh, it holds it in perfectly it doesn't go anywhere so for all intents and testing purposes, it's gonna stay like that. So that's what we did. It looks kind of funny, but it's in and it works. So average right now, we're running between 10 and 15 degrees above ambient temperature when cruising, around 50 to 60 mile an hour. Up around 70 mile an hour, we're seeing 15 to 20 degrees above ambient temperature. At wide open throttle, sending it like we need new shoes, max, air intake temps are 125 degrees. So before I put the intercooler in, yes, we took it out and thrashed it like we're ahead of stepchild. They were over 260 degree Fahrenheit air intake temps. So that being said, we knocked well over 100 degrees off, 120 degrees. And realistically, I think it was kind of a success. Is it perfect? No. Does it work? Yes. So anyways, we got that all in. It's been working good. We got about 200 miles on it. Thought the engine was hurt. Don't really know now because the mysterious tick has gone away. So I'm going to be chasing a random tick via checking the injection system. I've got to set up the scan tool and do all that stuff on my phone and with a scanner and see what my injection pulse width is, what my injection pump is doing for timing, especially when it's hot. That's when we're having those problems. So got to get to that point. Hopefully in the next week or so, and I'll actually do a video of using Torque Pro. And that way people can see how you can read timing, how you can check your injection pulse width, and check your TDCO while the truck is running cold and hot. We'll get that kind of out in front of everybody. And let's see. What else do I want to quickly talk about? Um, there's going to be some crazy stuff coming in the spring. Possibly a Borg Warner S366 turbocharger. Possibly a DB2 injection pump swap, maybe. And uh, there's a lot to come. So my little shop of horror is coming. To, horror is coming along. There's no horrors. Engines. We got engines, people. Anyways, got an 88.62 with 44,000 miles on it from somebody local. No cracks in the block, so got to get a crank for that. And maybe I'll talk to some dirty hooker diesels about doing some engine work for me. Who knows? And I'm working on getting a 141 block that is crack free as well. So we're making progress, and we will be out romping around in the near future. So, I'll go ahead and uh, get you guys watching some film of us driving around with the intercooler in the truck, 
And if you have any questions, please message us on Facebook or Instagram at Ginger Snap Customs. We don't bite what the gingerbread do. See you guys.